with Chief Meteorologist Natasha Stenbaugh because it was quite a bright day today. A lot of people wondering if we'll get a repeat tomorrow. Yeah, come on, repeat. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're out of here. No. <laughs> no good weather for you, or you, or you. Oh. Just kidding. Uh, eventually, it'll come back, of course. Um, but tomorrow, we go into our nice long stretch of rainy days, going from Thursday, possibly all the way until Tuesday of next week. But stay tuned, because there are going to be breaks in between where you could get some decent weather out there. 42 right now in Seaside, and we are just waiting to see some of those sprinkles show up on the camera. Uh, seeing some of that rain show up just offshore right now. Uh, today we did get up to a high of 62. That's sure nice. Uh, no records broken here. Our temperature this morning was certainly cold. 32 degrees, which put us below normal for our morning low temperature. Ridgefield, 41 degrees at the moment. Uh, current conditions here in Portland, 48. Wind is very light, but a southwesterly flow is going to take over, which is actually going to keep our temperatures from dropping down into the low 30s. We're going to keep them in the upper 30s for the most part in the valley. Uh, as we get to about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, likely to start to see that rain fall. So if you are one of those morning runners, get it done before 8 o'clock. That's your best bet for some dry weather. In the meantime, there's your rain, but heavy showers beginning by tomorrow afternoon. Look at that for the coastline. This puts us at about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. A chance to see thunderstorms at the coast and again on Friday. But Friday, we could see more widespread thunderstorms. Look at that. These nice big red contours that you see represent very heavy showers, possibility of hail. And as always, of course, a chance to see some lightning with that. Uh, temperature is still too warm to really see much for snow accumulations on the roadways. That all changes, though, as soon as we get past Friday and into a much colder environment. That puts us into Saturday. Saturday morning, we start to see some of that snowfall over our mountain passes lasting through Sunday. Sunday, we get really a good chunk of the day. It'll be dry, uh, mostly south of Portland. Areas north, though, you're in the rain. And of course, for the Cascades, you're in the snow. Now, how about rainfall totals? How much rain are we talking about tomorrow? Maybe a quarter of an inch for us in Portland. Along the coast, similar totals. But let's add Friday, Saturday, Sunday into Sunday night into the mix. And look at the coastline. We could get up to about an inch and a half there, three quarters of an inch in Portland. Also, stronger winds on the way. so. A uh, gale warning will be in effect for the coastal waters starting tomorrow night, lasting through Friday morning. Gusts upwards of 50 miles per hour, though. Places like Cannon Beach, Pacific City, uh, also a possibility. Look what happens as soon as we get to Friday midday to afternoon. It'll also be pretty windy for us right here in the Willamette Valley, anywhere from about 20 to 30 miles per hour possible. At this point in time, no advisories issued, but that could change, of course, as we get a little bit closer in time. It still will be quite a windy time for us, even through Saturday uh, midday for you at the coast. Tomorrow's temperatures will be in the upper 40s for your beach weather. Of course, rain for most of the day uh, and a chance of thunderstorms late in the evening. Valley temperatures, low 50s. Central and eastern Oregon, low 60s. Also, a chance to see some of that snow falling really won't be until again this weekend, but by next Tuesday, we might be able to count something close to about six to seven inches of snow for government camp. Seven day forecast. There you go. First day of spring is Saturday. Rain perhaps coming to an end by next Wednesday. Okay, Natasha, thanks. And to keep track.